Howdy folks. So we're in my bathroom where I installed a bunch of those 5.5 um, watt candelabra uh, LED bulbs uh, a couple months ago. And uh, as you can see, the second one in on the left has failed uh, just today. And uh, this is kind of interesting because I very recently, within the last week or so, got a, a PM on YouTube uh, of another person who had bought the bulbs uh, and uh, had had one fail. Uh, and he didn't exactly know why. He thought he'd left it on too long and it may be overheated. And of course, my bulbs, they're in the bathroom, they're on for pretty short duration. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, what I, now I've noticed that the, 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 the lights have been flickering for about the last week, every once in a while. You, you might see a flicker and it's, it's sort of so brief that I can't even tell if it's just me blinking or if it's actually the lights. And I think it's been that bulb that's been uh, flickering. I think that's what, it, what, what it's been. And what's really interesting, and I'm, I'm not sure uh, with the auto exposure how my camera will pick this up, but watch what happens to that bulb when I turn off the lights. Well, let me do that again. So it's got this kind of uh, persistence, this kind of glow on all the LEDs that the other lights don't have. And the fact that the LEDs light up tells me that possibly it's not an LED that's burnt out. It's possible that it's something in the power supply. So I'm going to take that bulb apart and uh, investigate to see What's causing this? Because that's really cool. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the bulb out and uh, we'll take a look at it on the bench. So here is the failed bulb. And I'm just going to try and open it. This one has never been opened before. It's actually not one of the ones that I took apart. So let's try and get this apart. I, it's got bleed resistors, so I don't think I'm going to get a shock from anything. So we're good. The board is just a little bit bigger than the ring in here, so getting these out is always a little bit fun the first time. There we go. Okay, so I don't see anything particularly wrong with the LEDs themselves, nothing obvious anyway. You can see a little bit of black marking in that LED in the center. I'm not sure if they were always like that or if that's something burning into them, I don't know. So the wiring appears to be fine. And so we've got our dropper capacitor here, our rectifier, our smoothing capacitor, the two resistors for the output, the bleed resistor there, and uh, another resistor there. I don't remember where that goes in the circuit. And that's it. I mean, they're very simple. So, the fact that the LEDs glow tells me that there's at least something getting to them. And I wonder if it's this cap. I wonder if this cap has gone open and it's just sort of coupling it, just a little tiny bit of current in. Unfortunately, I don't have a cap tester that goes down this low. I have ordered one, um, but it has yet to arrive. So, I mean, I can measure the big one, although it would not have any effect on the actual performance of the light. I'm just measuring this more for shits and giggles. Oops. 4.36 microfarad. Well, that's within tolerance. 5.3 ohms is terrible, terrible ESR, but uh, 
It may be because there's a resistor across it. And I don't think my device is intelligent enough to know that. So, I don't see any issues there. I can measure these resistors on the board. See if the, uh, the series resistors are wildly wrong. Yep, I'm reading 25 ohms across those 250 in parallel, so uh, that's fine. This would be the bleed resistor for the main cap. Yep, it's a 1 meg. Let's see, what else can I test? I, 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 at this point I'm pretty sure this, uh, this cap is gone, but uh, I can't measure it, it's too small. So I might as well test a bridge rectifier, because that's literally the only other thing that I can test, that and the diodes. I might test the diodes with a diode checker to make sure that they're all, uh, they're all good first. And then by process of elimination, that will be, uh, that will be what's wrong. I'm, I'm sure that the bridge rectifier is fine. Yeah, the bridge rectifier looks fine. I'll, I'll, I'll check all the uh, the diodes and see if they're all there. And if they are, I'll see if I've got another one of these caps, because I kind of want to know what failed in this. If it was this, I'd be intrigued, because um, these film capacitors, they... Mm, it, would be in it would be interesting to see, because these generally are quite reliable, so... Yeah, let me measure those LEDs and see what happens. So I went through all the LEDs, and uh, the diode test on my meter doesn't actually go high enough for the 3 volts across these, these diodes, but that doesn't mean you can't test them, so I basically just hooked up my probes to uh, my power supply and uh, applied uh, enough to make them uh, light up. And I went around, and what do you know, the very first thing that I noticed that one LED, which I don't know if it'll focus or you can even see it, it's got the tiny little black smudge in it. That LED is dead. And obviously because these are all in series, um, that's why it's no worky-worky. So, yeah, that guy is dead. And I can, I can show you. The way that these strips work is they work in alternating polarities. So... Uh, each, each strip is uh, one way and then the other way going all around in a circle. So you can see that that, uh, that LED lights up just fine, and the one on the bottom also lights up just fine, but the one in the middle, uh, I'm giving it 2.4 volts, which is just, that's, I mean, it doesn't make it very bright, but that's not, that's not the point. I'm not, uh, I, can, I can increase the voltage a little bit to like three and a three point something still doesn't do anything so that LED probably conducts just a tiny tiny bit and that's just enough to make the others glow but uh, yeah that LED is pretty much screwed so in terms of what I should do with this bulb uh, I could trash it I could bridge across that LED with a wire and you know, kill all the other LEDs slightly faster by giving them a higher voltage. I could also put a resistor in there. I can calculate the output voltage and uh, calculate the uh, current through the series string and then come up with a resistor that'll give me a three volt drop across that LED. And uh, that might be the best solution, I guess. Although, uh, if more of these bulbs start doing that, uh, I might just sort of take one and just harvest LEDs from it and start patching up other failed bulbs. Um, and uh, if that happens, I probably will not, not buy these again. I mean, these were an experiment, truly, to see how the truly the cheapest of the cheap bulbs were. And, uh, I mean, they've been pretty good up until this point. So, uh... Hopefully this is a one-off thing, but I really doubt. I really doubt it. I think they're all going to suffer a similar fate to this one in time, whether that's you know this week or this month or this year. I I don't I don't know. 
Well, I'll, I'll update you on, on what happens, but uh, until then, thanks for watching.